So now we are going to speak about the way to check ambient radiation in your environment. Usually, if you want to check radiation in your environment, it's important to measure the radiation at approximately one meter above ground because people are usually standing up and the dose that they receive is usually calculated one meter above ground. But then, if you wish to uh, really understand where are the contam most contaminated areas, it's also useful to measure the dose rate or the number of counts per second on the soil itself because you may have a huge difference between the dose of radiation at one meter above ground and on the contact of the ground. Usually the dose rate or the degree of radiation is much more elevated on the ground. You also have some hotspots that can occur. For example, if you have a, a radioactive cloud arriving and particles have been falling on the roof and here you have a system to collect rainwater. When it's raining, all this contamination will go here and it might concentrate in the ground here and you may have a much more important degree of radiation near this place. So you really have to check the global ambient radiation one meter above ground and what is useful is to use this kind of device because you really can check radiation like that one meter above ground or on the soil and it's also important to check for hot spots. In the most contaminated places it's very important to check the, the radiation inside your house. The first reason for that is the fact that if you have a contamination of the soil outside your house the gamma radiation that are emitted by cesium and iodine from the soil, this radiation will partly enter your house. The degree of radiation inside the house will depend on the material of your walls. If your walls are made of strong concrete, it will uh, stop or uh, partly stop radiation more efficiently than if it's made of a small wooden uh, wall. In this case, radiation will enter more strongly. The second reason for checking radiation inside your house is the fact that when the radioactive cloud arrived, radioactive gases and particles entered your house and some of these particles accumulated on the surfaces, your table, your chair, and it's important to check uh, this accumulation and to check the amount of radiation inside the house. You may also have particular hotspots. For example, if you use a vacuum cleaner, the bag containing the dust of all your house, this bag may be quite active, so you should check it, check for it. Yourself, when you were walking outside, you probably put on your uh, shoes some particles and then when you entered your house you may have been putting some of those particles on the soil. I forgot another uh, important source of radiation inside your house. It's the fact that on the roof, because the particles that accumulated on your roof will also create gamma radiation that will be detectable inside the house. So for all those different reasons, radiation coming from the soil, from the roof, from contaminated surfaces inside your house, it's very important to check 
the gamma radiation inside the house.